Hi, my name is Akita, and welcome to Rocket Academy's Software Engineering 101, Intro to Coding. In this course, we're going to be using the JavaScript language to create some simple games in the browser. Through these examples, we're going to see some of the fundamentals of coding and some of the strategies and processes of creating software. Our objective for each student at the end of this course is that they be able to take our starter code and a simple English language description of a program and implement that program using the coding concepts we're going to cover. The organization of the materials and exercises in this course is motivated by Bloom's taxonomy, which describes the levels of knowledge needed to master a subject. We hope that all our students are able to attain the level of apply, which means that they can take the high level concepts that we're going to cover in this course and be able to apply them to create a piece of working code. The skill we hope to impart to our students is not JavaScript, but computational thinking. And this is the skill of creating a set of instructions for the computer from the point of view of computation. There are four parts to this skill. Abstraction, representing things inside the computer. Algorithms, constructing a set of steps for the computer to walk through decomposition, taking a very large problem and breaking it up into smaller pieces, and pattern recognition, being able to take a set of code and understand where it's repeating itself. Throughout the course, we're going to be referencing these four things in the practice of constructing our software. Let's talk a little bit more about how we're gonna approach the subject and what this course is. There are many different approaches to teaching this field of computer science, software engineering, coding. This course aims to be a relatively quick, beginner-friendly introduction to some of the core concepts without getting bogged down by real-world implementation and high-level academic rigor. We aim to cover the concepts fundamental to all coding and not get into the details of building a real-world system. The student's absorption and practice of the material is meant to be as self-paced as possible. Significant course materials will be devoted to strategy, process, and approach to coding. As much as possible, this course will try to facilitate student-to-student -student interaction. As part of the implementation of deliberate practice, students will get feedback on their work, but also their, on their process and approach. Hopefully that gives you some idea of the philosophies behind this course. One last idea we'd like to impart throughout this experience is that while software and coding is about being meticulous and logical, it's also fundamentally a process of creation and of play.